Hi, my name is Abby and I own Abby Sparks Jewelry. Today I'm going to talk to you about some hard truths when shopping for trendy engagement rings. As someone who has helped hundreds of clients get engaged by making and designing engagement rings, I'm going to go into some more detail about what is a trendy engagement ring, what are some of the pitfalls, and some of the things to avoid from a materials standpoint and from a design standpoint. By the end of this video, you're gonna feel really confident when shopping for engagement rings because you're gonna know what to avoid so that you don't buy a ring that ultimately falls apart and breaks. Turning engagement ring is a ring that is designed and made with the intention of looking great looking good, being on point with certain trends of the moment. It's not made necessarily with the intention of lasting a lifetime and using really, really tough materials and good design standards to sustain a lifetime. Really, you have two options, two main options right now. One, find rings that are in stores. Two, shop online. What you do need to know though is just because it's marketed as an engagement ring, just because it says, hey, this is an engagement ring, buy me, does not mean that it actually is made to withstand a lifetime. In fact, it could just be fashion jewelry and not a good option for engagement rings. So what are the problems with trendy engagement rings? Let's start with stones. So a lot of rings right now are being marketed as, as engagement ring options, but they contain stones that are not necessarily durable. Some examples include opals, labradorite, turquoise, pearls, and moonstone. While these are beautiful options from a design standpoint and from a visual standpoint, they're not tough stones. What do you need to know about tough stones? There's this thing called the Mohs Hardness Scale. It's basically a scale, just with numbers essentially, on the durability, that inside durability of that stone, um, how hard it is. So, you want something to be really, really hard so it lasts an entire lifetime. If it's not really, really hard, then it's gonna break. If you are shopping, when in doubt, Google Mohs Hardness and whatever that stone is. Mohs Hardness Moonstone, Mohs Hardness Turquoise. When you pull up this Mohs Hardness Scale, if that particular stone isn't at least a seven, eight, nine, or 10, it is a very poor choice for an engagement ring because it won't last. So what's the problem with trendy engagement ring metals? Avoid 18 karat gold, rose, yellow, or white for an engagement ring because it's just a, there's more gold and it, it's just softer. It's, it's not built to withstand a lot of pressure. One thing to also avoid is sterling silver. Some people think, cool, I'm gonna save a little bit of money, I'm gonna get this ring made in sterling silver um, and save on that gold price. Well, you may have saved money in the interim, but you will end up needing a new engagement ring, I promise you, within a short amount of time because sterling silver is too, too soft, essentially, to hold these tougher stones. They will literally just work their way out of that metal. So then you have a lady who's left with a setting with no stones in it, essentially. So good metal choices are gold, but not 18 karat. So stick with 14 karat, because you want it to be really durable. Platinum and palladium. What's the problem with some of these more trendy engagement ring designs? So mainly, they're not engineered and designed in a way to withstand the test of time, to last 50 years or 15 years or 30 years, whatever it is. They're made to look really good right now, but they're not meant to be worn every day um, for years. So some of those issues include little teeny tiny um, shanks or bands. It's really trendy right now. Ladies want this super, super slim band, but the reality is that it's gonna break. She's gonna bend it and it's gonna break because that metal is, it's not engineered in a way. That ring is not engineered in a way um, to withstand the test of time. So that's a good example of something to avoid. Another thing to avoid um, from a design standpoint would be just really thin prongs, little teeny tiny prongs. Well, with little teeny tiny stones and little teeny tiny prongs, you're not gonna get that durability in that metal. So if you nick that little prong on a table, you're gonna lose a stone. We're constantly seeing things repaired, stones falling out, shanks or bands being bent. So avoid these some more trendy options. Okay, so my very last tip is don't fall victim to really good marketing. People are really good these days. You've got really engaging salespeople 
that are, their job is to sell you something, but not to necessarily know what they're selling from a design standpoint, material standpoint, engineering standpoint. So be informed. Just because a salesperson says it's a great engagement ring choice does not mean that it actually is. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you feel more informed and confident when making these choices on these engagement rings. I love answering questions. Put some below, comments as well. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, and we'll see you next time.